Jack Ford Performance Racing. How much longer we get to call them, that is a, another matter. But the question today is actually a really interesting one. It's probably got a couple of little subheadings to it too. Is Chaz Mostert FPR's new number one driver? I would say not yet. Mark Winterbottom has the runs on the board. He's been a contender for that long that he's still the big dog there. But will Chaz Mostert maybe win a championship before Mark Winterbottom does? That's an interesting question. Yeah, I mean, you're right, it opens a, a box of other questions. I, I mean, Will Davison was Mark's teammate at FPR for a long time, and I still think Mark has kept that number one status right through that period, um, and having been involved with FPR uh, last year, I think um, Mark's de you know, definitely number one, but he deserves it as well. I mean, he's been in the top three and four of the championship for the last five or six seasons well, ever straight. Since, ever since he's been at FPR, he's been in that top four or five, yeah. which is a phenomenal level of achievement, but it's come at the same time when that bloke Wing Cup, in the same era, has cranked out six championships. So you can't probably criticise Winterbottom too much because therefore you'd have to criticise the other blokes who haven't picked up championships. But Tanda snagged one in that time frame. Uh, Courtney stole one there in 2010. Um, is it a case where somewhere in the future, Mark Winterbottom has to go somewhere else? to finally get that championship that he's been chasing? Oh, I mean, no one, well, not no one, a lot of people thought that they'd never win Bathurst either. And both the boys in question, Mark and Chaz, have been the last two victors. And I'm not sure, I mean, Mark's been flying the Ford flag now for three or four years, and I think the fans look at Chaz as potentially another opportunity, or not more than an opportunity, it's someone else to support, you know? When Mark's not performing, you know, they've had no one else to cheer on, and now they've got, uh, Chaz there, so look, I don't think Chaz is going to take him over yet, but uh, he certainly in the last half of the year was more consistently uh, matching, or if not even outperforming uh, Mark. But uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to watch that teammate battle next year. It's um, you know Chaz has got another year under his belt, and uh, again, you know, no mistakes and clearing a few things up, he really will give Mark a run for his money, and I think they will be both contending for the top two or three in the championship. Um, and yeah, the future of the team, like you said, how long will it be called for performance racing and whether it will involve those two moving forward, it's all going to be interesting things to keep an eye on. I think the end of the, the moral of the story is, the answer is no, he's not the number one FPR, Winterbottom clearly is, but Mostert has shown enough that he could be one day. Yeah, exactly right, and Mark's an exceptionally talented driver and so is Chaz and um, you know, Mark you know, has, has often said that the things Chaz has been able to achieve at his age are, are more than what he did. So. Yeah, it'd be a cool one to watch. Chaz, 2014, a breakout year for you. What's your expectations for 2015? Yeah, to be honest, I'm not too sure. It's been an amazing year this year, obviously with Bathurst. Um, want to go back as try as the defending champ and try and do it again. It's uh, one of the hardest races we deal with through the year. But um, definitely want to start off on a better note in 2015. 2014 wasn't the great start. Had a, had a couple of crashes and really hurt our championship position. So now we're in sixth and uh, trying for the top five. And, if we can start off on a good note straight away next year and, and aim for the top five, anything can happen. Coming into this series, I mean, you came in previous year, but full time, longer races, that sort of stuff. Is patience something you might have learnt this year? Yeah, for sure. I guess at the start of the year, I was pretty eager. I was pretty keen to get out there and have a crack and, um, yeah, made some mistakes. So this year, definitely settled down a lot. Uh, this is my first time at the championship, but I, I go at the championship where last year I came in a bit late, there was no expectation. Just go out and try your hardest and, and try and go as far as possible. This year, you know, there's a lot to, there's a lot to take in. You know, championship points, got to finish every race. Um, and, and stuff you learn through the year that is better off finishing fifth, you know, I guess, when you're only good enough to finish fifth instead of trying to get to the top three and, and try and do some silly moves. So uh, it's definitely learned a lot this year and, and looking forward to trying to keep that momentum into next year. In terms of how your life changed as well, people now start to talk about expectations more so than yourself, but do you have your own expectations and not let peop other people influence those? Yeah, pretty much. I have goals I'd like to get to, but uh, realistically, you know, you just got to go out there and try your best and where you end up is where you end up. And I don't like to look too far forward, you know, I just I just do what I'm here not doing now. And um, yeah, it's just try and win as many races as you can if you can, if the car's good enough and you know you're good enough on the weekend. And if you're not, you just have to settle for where you are. But, you know, always pushing as hard as you can. You want to go out there, win every race. It's just, it's just a race car driver competition, you know, that we're in. And um, but, but if you can't, then you just, you know, you just do what you have to do. For you and, your, and this team, 
ticked a lot of boxes in 2014, but still there's the big box you still haven't got to. Is 2015 going to be the year? Oh, I certainly hope so. You know, we're, we're sick of being bridesmaids. You know, it's, you know, it's the old cliche, but it's, um, you know, we've got to get it done. You know, unfortunately, Jamie and Triple Eight are, um, you know, having won six championships. That's, you know, unbelievable, really, in any um, motorsport around the world. So, you know, they've definitely got, and I think in particularly in Jamie's case, that edge of uh, confidence, arrogance, whatever you want to call it, um, over us. Um, but look, you know, we think we're up to the task. You know, we've given them a good run, really, f consistently for the last three years. Um, and so, you know, we've just got to go one better. I think we had the legs over them in the early part of this year. They came back fighting hard, you know, pretty hard. And, um, and we haven't been able to, to react as quick as we would have liked. So, you know, we, we know where our car is deficient and, you know, we're working hard to rectify those issues. In terms of your lineup, you, you brought Chaz in. Did he exceed your expectations and is that a much better sign for you in 2015? Oh, look, to be honest, he didn't exceed my expectations. I think he exceeded a lot of other people's expectations because, you know, having worked closely with him over the last two or three years, you know, I, I knew what we had, um, you know, in our stable and I think other people had overlooked or just not realised how good he was going to be. Yeah, he had a slow start to the year, um, which is almost to be expected. I mean, I think there was almost a bit of a case of, you know, that the young upstart, you know, in a factory drive, there was a few of the old guard that were... We're trying to, you know, muscle him around a little bit, um, but you know he's risen above that, and I think you know he's proved to everybody how good he is. And you know if he can just start next year, you know, as he's you know on his current form, then he's a real, you know, he could almost be a dark horse for the championship. Each and every day on the Armour All Summer Grill, you've got the chance to win one of these, the Armour All Detailing Kit. All you have to do is to subscribe to SpeedCafe.com. To find out if you've won, visit and like the SpeedCafe.com Facebook page. So you finish washing your car, or you think you've finished washing your car, but there'll be a couple of areas left, and typically they'll be under your wheel arches here and your mud flaps. Now, a great product for that is the Armour All Tire Foam. Whilst it's actually designed for tyres, works great in those areas. All you've got to do is spray the foam under in and around there. The foam will actually collapse, take away the grime, and just leave a nice, clean surface under there. And let me tell you, when you've got your car washed and that bit's done, now it's clean.